Hi, I'm Tony Morgan of a &R Boilers, members of the Engineer Team Network, and today's boiler, which you can see a swimming boiler, flooded, it's a Potterton Gold HE33. Customer's called us out, said he's got a drastically leaking boiler, which you can see, there's no understatement. So I've been trying to let the water out, but it's quite bad. If I undo that screw, you can see it increased quite a lot. So we've got a bit of a burst on here. It's just drained, draining out, so what's happened, it's burst inside and I think the chamber's full of water. So we're just going to let out slowly. And then eventually we'll get inside and see what's going on. We've now removed the combustion cover, and you can see we've got a nice little swimming pool at the bottom there, full of water. I suspect that the main heat exchange is gone because I can see some water in this region here. I just said to the customer, if that's the case, then the boiler's dead. It's not worth fixing. So I'm going to have a look inside there anyway and see if actually is the case. I've actually found conclusive evidence that the main heat exchange is gone. There's a bit of water there. Can you see that there? And that nut. So me taking that off there, just another deluge of water is going to come out. So I'm afraid it's going to be the end of the road for this boiler. What do you want to say for your last rights for your boiler? It's been a fine boiler, a faithful boiler. It just all got too much for it. I think so, yeah. And it's just been... It's one of those things. May it rest in damp peace. So yes, this is the end of this boiler. Giving its last rights before it gets buried. Oh, isn't it cremated? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of this video. If you like what you've seen, just give us a, a like on our YouTube channel, or you can subscribe on it, and we'll see you on the next video. So thank you for watching.